Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Taprock Rush here. Today we're going to be playing Resident Evil Part 2. Uh, sorry about the delay between Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, I meant to re upload a video last week, but for some reason my first recording session got corrupted. And then my second one, uh, Twitch recorded the audio, but none of the visuals. So you just hear Jill just running around everywhere and shooting things. Um, yeah, these videos are going to be a little shorter. I'm trying to practice my editing skills and basically like what I want to do in the game. And I already knew what was going to happen in part 3 just because I've been playing this part so many times that I just know what's going to happen. So I was like, I don't want to uh, put too much into this video and not have anything for the third video. You might hear my son in the background. I'm currently watching him. He's watching Miss Rachel, uh, the greatest babysitter ever. So the last few times I did this part, I I, just, I kept killing all the zombies just because I have to come back here later, and it'd just be easier to uh, get rid of them. So if you get the shotgun and you, and you wait long enough until the like, zombies right on top of you, you can blow their heads off. Uh, the reason why I use the handgun on this second zombie is because the last few times I tried it, he always takes the hits and just falls to the ground. And I didn't want to waste the shotgun shells. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the Terrence, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that, that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. Eat plants, feel good. That's it. I don't want to read the whole thing.
And here's a quick demonstration of that earlier memo about the plants. So if you combine the green and the red one, it should heal you 100%. And then I just, um, for like the green plants, I just think of it as like one point. So if you have two of the green ones and you mix them together, that's two points. And then if you mix them, a third one in there, that's three points. And I think that's the equivalent to a red and a green one. And there's also the blue plant that heals poison. And all you have to do is mix it with the uh, at least the green. And then you can mix it with the red to heal you completely. Or you can do like green and blue and then it heals you like one point. The memo isn't a very interesting read. It's just, it's just very tutorial. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. A can of fizz sounds like a drink. I end up going back because I'm trying to get the blue gem um, from the second floor balcony area. 
because in one of the areas ahead there's like a tiger puzzle and you need that gem and you get like shotgun shells and I, I don't kill the zombie because I don't want to waste one bullets on him I don't want to burn his body and then I don't want to have to deal with the uh, crimson head that he, he'll become so I'm just com I'm completely ignoring him he's, he's just there for the ambiance If you guys ever played the first one, which zombie modes do you prefer? Do you prefer the ones from Resident Evil Director's Cut or the remake? I think I like the original ones better. They sound scarier. I feel like these guys are a little stronger. I feel like I always shoot more bullets into them. Like, it's their jacket. Their jacket stops the bullets. It's like bulletproof or something. Like, this guy doesn't have a jacket. He dies so fast. And I, I kill these guys because the little box is right here. I forgot what it's called. The, the treasure room box. The save point box. I don't want to deal with these guys. In a lot of these rooms, Jill can just pick the lock. But if you play as Chris, you gotta find a small little key to uh, open the doors up. And then this room is also where you get the broken shotgun um, to use in the shotgun puzzle room. Because you'll take the shotgun and then you put the broken shotgun in there. That way the uh, ceiling doesn't fall on you. Cause that changes something that a Barry does. Cause if you use this broken shotgun as Jill, and Barry doesn't show up to help you, you find him somewhere else, and it solves another puzzle for you. And then I'm just gonna go back up here, burn these two bodies. That way they're. Completely out the way. I don't have to worry about them, you know, in 15 minutes. And I'm, I'm not sure how long it takes for them to turn the Crimsons. I know the minimum amount of time is 15 minutes. Um, but it's like random. So it could be 15 minutes, it could be 30, an hour. I, I just don't want to deal with them. So I just burned them. Because if I walk into this room and they get up, it's going to scare the crap out of me. I'm doing what I should have done in the other save point room and just fill my canteen up. This video is going to end pretty soon, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the outro. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for coming to the channel. If you could please like, subscribe, and comment below, I would be very appreciative. I'm going to upload this one today, so you'll see it when it gets uploaded today. And I'll... I have some footage for part 3, I'm not sure if I have an entire video worth, but I'll, I should be able to post that today as well, because I have to at least complete Resident Evil 1 before Resident Evil 4 comes out, 
I'm really looking forward to that one. It's gonna have a, a few uh, mechanics that are new. That I'm looking forward to. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.